Now we are going to understand what is Bartlett's bisection theorem and how we can calculate the z parameters of a symmetrical two port network using this theorem. And this theorem was given by Albert Charles Bartlett and it is applicable only to symmetrical two port networks. And by using this theorem, we can show that any two port symmetrical network can be transformed into a lattice network. Now, what do we mean by a lattice network? A lattice network is a two port electrical wave filter in which diagonally crossed shunt elements are present. Now, what are shunt elements? Shunt elements are the devices offering a low resistance path. Now, let's see the structure of basic symmetrical lattice. Here you can see that we have diagonally crossed shunt elements. The four black boxes you can see are the impedances. And uh, now I will explain you how you can calculate the Z parameters of a symmetrical two port network using the Bartlett's bisection theorem. For this, I have taken one two port network, which is symmetrical. And uh, I will separate the symmetrical two port network into two equal parts like this. I have separated the symmetrical two port network into two equal parts. And let's say each part is network n sub h representing that they are the half networks of the original two port network. So this is what we have to do in step number one. Now moving to step number two, we will bisect and find out Z O C H and Z S C H. So the first thing we have to do is to bisect our network like this. And then we will take the half network and we will open circuit the port number two. This means current I2 is equal to zero. And then we will calculate the impedance between these two terminals. And the calculated impedance is known as Z O C H. Why? Because it is open circuit, open circuit driving point impedance of the half network. After this, we will short circuit the output port and this means voltage V2 is equal to zero. And again, we will calculate the impedance between these two terminals. And this time, the impedance is known as Z S C H. Why? Short circuit short circuit driving point impedance of the half network. Now after finding out ZOCH and ZSCH, we are done with step number two and we will move on to step number three in which we will construct basic symmetrical lattice using ZOCH and ZSCH. And uh, we know this is our basic symmetrical lattice and it is important to remember the positions of ZOCH and ZSCH in the basic symmetrical lattice. This impedance is impedance ZSCH and the opposite impedance to this impedance is also ZSCH and these two impedances R Z O C H. So in this way, we are done with step number three. And uh, now we will have the Z parameters of this network using this basic symmetrical lattice. Parameter Z11 will be equal to parameter Z22. And parameter Z12 will be equal to parameter Z21 and they are equal to ZOCH plus ZSCH divided by 2. 
Z O C H plus Z S C H divided by 2 and they are equal to Z O C H minus Z S C H divided by 2. So remember these formulas and now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.